alive. No, it's all good. Check on Curly. Although she's not moving, she seems to still be alive. Okay, so what you have to do is check the bookshelf over here. Or a bookshelf. Okay, I think you got, sorry, you gotta check the computer first. My, my mistake. Text is displayed on the screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. The notebook is covered in dust. Open the notebook, yes. Robots malfunction on the surface. Robots manufactured on the surface has limited aquatic mobility. In case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent short circuiting. Below are instructions on how to service flooded robots. Learn how to service flooded robots. <laughs> Flooded systems will be begin a reboot process automatically after using the above method of draining. So yes, you have to do that. You have to drain water from Curly. That's kind of kinky. All right. Ugh. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad. I, I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Ugh. She fell asleep. Saving again. Okay, now. The restart process will take some time to complete. If I recall, you were supposed to try to leave. Or, wait, no. Oh yeah, would you like to leave her? No, you do not want to leave Curly Brace here. It's the same as her dying, pretty much. So pick her up and yep, yeah, just pick her up and take her with you. There is a boss here. He's not too hard, although you there is an achievement for killing him. Ow! Without getting hit, and you also get an alien medal, which is like an in-game achievement kind of thing. Anyway, let's see if I can do this without dying again. Jumping, 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 jumping. Falling, jumping, jumping, jumping. Something's coming. Boss time. Sword is king. Grab the health, grab the health. Oh my god, that hurt. I might die actually. I've, I've been really reckless. Okay, that's not the best weapon choice. God, it really sucks not having a re oh god, I'm down to one shit, one hit. The health. Got him! Whew! Yeah, unfortunately, Curly kind of, you dropped Curly here. But that's okay. As long as you took her out of the house, you will find her again somewhere else. But, that said... The hard part is sort of over for now. <laughs> I can't believe I made that jump on the first try. The way I did it was as you're going towards the hole, you hold the opposite direction and hopefully stop. That's how you stop. Making the jump on the other hand is not quite so simple. Anyway, got to heal, got to save, walk towards the teleporter, and it's Professor Brewster. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> the doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the Mimi on the island. Mimigi. Mimi. Mimi. I'm doing it again. Mimi. Me. Of the, of the island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire, then I should have at least had Sue escape from the island. Obtain the booster to version 2.0. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue, 
One last time, please take her and escape from the island. She is Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to this island, but she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please take her and escape. Now, booster two. How do I get there? I don't remember which button. There it is. Okay, you actually have to equip it. And my phone's ringing. I'll be right back. That. Yes, you actually have to equip the booster in order to use it. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. All right. And you just hit the jump button twice. And the booster is nice because you can uh, dash twice. It doesn't have the staying power that the uh, the uh, <laughs> machine gun has, obviously, but it'll do. Anyway, first things first. Go up here. Get one here. Yes, welcome back to the first cave. Where you picked up the polar star at the start of the game. These spikes are significantly less fatal now because you don't have one health. Anyway, the old man who was sleeping when you first picked up the gun is now awake. Did you happen to see the gun I made? Someone pilfered it while I slept. I should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket had I known it was going to be the case. Wait, that's my gun. Why do you have it? I didn't make it for you. Give it back. Polar Star was confiscated. Hmm, you apparently put a significant amount of wear on it. I... I was raised to believe that weapons should always be constructed by oneself. I always thought those who fight with a firearm created by another person are all fools, growing overconfident with powers that were never their own to begin with, then blaming their own shortcomings on the equipment they use. Fools. Still. But now, seeing my gun used by you with your hands, I am very incredibly touched. To use an incomplete gun such as the Polar Star to this degree? Hmm. Pardon my rantings. How about this? I'll give it I'll give it to you. After it's completed, of course. The polar star is now spur. Anyway, the spur is the best version of the polar star you can get. It has good range, and you may have noticed that the level one is uh exactly like the old level three, which is great. However, this one does not level up like the other one used to. As you see, it doesn't gain any experience or lose experience. However, it charges and fires a badass laser beam. Definitely my favorite weapon in the game. It's a little impractical in boss vices unless you're precise with your shooting. Still, it gets the job done. It is nice not to have to worry about your weapons degrading. And there's actually points in the game where all of your weapons will automatically all degrade. It's rather frustrating. Stupid bat. And you might have noticed there's a lot more enemies here. Letting you test out the Polar Star, of course. Oh, okay. Now with that done. I don't think I can do this yet, but I'm going to check anyway. Nope. Anyway, my first playthrough, I actually missed the health thing over there. I'm going to save too. Well, I'm just while I'm standing right here, you know? Oh, not that one.
You might have noticed. Yeah, I love this guy. Early early game enemy, still completely immune to damage. At least from the front. Anyway, you guys remember this door? There's a guy in here. Okay, so apparently I can do this now. So I think I'm actually gonna try. Um, this guy, uh, you, you need the mushroom for something later. I'm not gonna really spoil it. However, this guy's a little tricky about how you get it from him. You got some business with me? Yes, I do. Huh, yeah, right. You don't have any business with me. Okay, so I can't do it now. Uh, I'll be back here later for sure. But yeah, he's important. And he's also actually kind of hard, because you have to fight him. Clink! Anyway, you need to head back to the egg corridor. Quick save. Save me some backtracking. Yeah, now you can go back to the labyrinth freely, by the way. So you can also go back and trade your polar star if you really want the snake. As you might have noticed, this place is different. There was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything like was like this after I came back around. What the heck is going on? All the eggs hatched. I really akin this weapon to more like a precision sniper rifle. You know, you gotta hit stuff from multiple angles. Oh yes, beware of falling rocks. Oh yeah, he's got something I want, doesn't he? Open the treasure chest. Max missiles increased by five. All right, let's see all these guys up here. Boom! Headshot. I forget if I, I forgot I had the booster. this one rockets now this guy gave me trouble the first time not today my friend yes yeah, so you can also boost in multiple directions with this weapon which makes it actually exceedingly good at like stuff Jump! Boom! Oh, I missed that. Where is it? Where is it? Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, bugger all. Boss time. You can actually skip this boss if you just don't pick this up, but yeah.
Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to my health. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back. Ugh. Yeah, take me to the A corridor. Let's try to get there with full health this time. is gonna be funny. Kaboo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. No, no, no. Missiles, missiles. Yes, there we go. Missiles. Okay, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, you can you can boost in different directions. Which is of course very very useful. Really? No, stop getting hit by the fucking dragon. No, oh, those damn fucking rocks. Let's see, my rock is to level three. Can you run straight through here? if I can whatever let's try this again less health this time Oh my god, those fireballs do so much damage. Oh my god, they do so much damage. Oh, so close again. And now I gotta walk all the way fucking back again. You know what? I'm just gonna go through. Screw killing things, I'm just gonna go. Because I can obviously kill those things just with my new polar star. And then I just ran into spikes on the ceiling. Oh, wait, I gotta get that. Damn it. No. Whatever. There, back to full almost.
No. Oh. I just went full retard. By the way, yes, that was the sound of me face palming myself. <coughs> Keep forgetting I gotta get that stupid box down there. All right. Getting back into my groove at least. Let's just not screw this up, because that was fucking sad. Oh, I just... Alright, fine. 